Although nature has been documented for many years now, every so often an animal track is found that can't be explained. After further tests, some of these still remain a mystery. One of the most interesting tracks that baffled researchers was found deep in the Congo. The Makole Bembe, when translated, means the one who stops the flow of rivers. It's a mysterious creature that's been mentioned in different stories by the people who live in the Congo River Basin. These people have the most contact with this creature, and are said to have encountered it many times. Makole Bembe is often described as a half-dinosaur, half-elephant, and is claimed by people to live in Lake Tele near the Congo River in Africa. No scientific proof has ever been found that such an animal existed, but that hasn't stopped various reports coming out of this area. It's used as a reference by some researchers to prove that dinosaurs and humans coexisted, or that dinosaurs somehow managed to survive in the modern day. Makole Bembe has been described as an elephant-sized creature with smooth, brownish-grey skin, a flexible neck, and a long tail that's as powerful as a crocodile's tail. It's perhaps best known for leaving behind its large footprints, which are known for having three claws and leaving deep impressions in the ground. These can be found throughout the swampy jungles of Africa. Over the past three centuries, native pygmies and western explorers have described how the animal used to live. This animal fed on nut-like fruit of a riverbank plant and kept to the deep pools and subsurface areas, like the caves underwaters and the unexplored regions of the forests. A recent expedition has showed that these stories have been told for a long time, and that the locals very much believe that this creature is real and not a myth. One of the researchers on the team said that it may have been a dinosaur-like brontosaurus, which modern science says has been extinct for over 70 million years. The same researcher, Roy Mackle, had gone deep into the central swamps of the Congo, where it was believed the animal lived. Interestingly, he was able to come back with a photograph of a footprint that's believed to belong to the Makole Bembe. The Forbidden Swamp region is located in the centre of the Congo, and it covers an average area of 49,000 square miles, which is as large as New York. The natives told the missionaries where the sauropod dinosaur lived after the missionaries had shown them the animal. They had known about the mysterious animal that lived along the rivers and deep swamp pools, but did not know that it was a sauropod dinosaur until the missionaries told them. This dinosaur-like creature is said to feast on the vegetables and fruits of the jungle, One thing that's been noted is that it doesn't get along well with hippos, and various tribe members have seen these two animals battle it out. In 1999, the Sunday Times of London reported that the people of the Kabonga tribe had managed to take down one of these creatures. Once captured, it was reported that the tribe had killed it. In the fall of 1981, Herman Regustus led a team into Lake Telly, and is said to have returned with items belonging to this ancient creature. This included things like footprint casts, droppings, and a mysterious sound which couldn't be pinned to any local wildlife. Reports of Makole Bembe goes all the way back to the 18th century, and since 1980, over 25 expedition teams have been sent and searched for the mysterious animal. In 2001, the BBC hosted a programme where they interviewed Boca Pygmies. They asked them about the Makole Bembe, and they identified the animal as looking like a sauropod dinosaur, and even sketched it in the soil. The closest animal it could be pinned to is a giraffe, however, no giraffes can be found in this region, and the creature's footprints are far too wide for it to be this species. In 2018, another expedition was sent, with DNA experts to look for clues of the creature. They found nothing that could help them pinpoint the animal but interestingly, they did discover a new type of algae. Some people have said that this proves there are still many creatures and organisms on the planet that we don't know about. Discover Africa purchased a documentary from an independent young crew in 2016. The documentary showed how the crew spent four weeks gathering information from different tribes and villages about the existence of such an animal. Numerous natives believed in its existence while some said that the last of the species had died at least a decade ago. Bigfoot tracks are being found all over the world. 
Bigfoot is described as a hairy, upright walking creature that lives in the wilderness. It's commonly seen in North America, and over the years, various footprint samples have been collected. Bigfoot has inspired many commercials and numerous hoaxes. Many people who have claimed to have seen Bigfoot describe it as a large, muscular, ape-like creature, roughly 6 to 9 feet tall. It's an elusive creature that isn't seen that often. The name had come from the huge footprints it leaves behind. The footprints can measure 24 inches long and 8 inches wide. About one third of the sightings of Bigfoot is in Pacific Northwest, while the rest are in North America. The debate of the existence of Bigfoot reached its peak in the 1970s, and this was when Bigfoot sightings reached its highest amount. There are many areas stretching across North America that are often referred to as being hotspots for sightings of the Sasquatch. According to many Bigfoot experts, these concentrated areas get the highest amount of reports of a Bigfoot creature and can span over the course of several years with recurring sightings of the creature. This appears to be the case when analysing the footage taken on two separate occasions by two separate individuals at the exact same location in the Utah Hills near Provo Canyon. Back in early 2012, a hiker noticed a large Sasquatch creature sitting on the side of a hill and seemingly playing with a small tree. He quickly turned on his camera, but made a noise, which caused the Sasquatch to stand up, attempt to hide behind the thin trees, and begin throwing rocks at the cameraman. Many Bigfoot experts claim the footage to be genuine, given the elongated arms indicating that the creature couldn't have been a man in a suit due to the fact that it picks up large rocks and throws them a great distance, a behaviour reported in many other Bigfoot encounters. Shortly after, the cameraman begins running away in fear of the Bigfoot creature. Interestingly enough, a few months later, in October of 2012, in the exact same spot, a brother and a sister spotted a large furry beast sitting on the side of a hill. They took out their cameras believing it to be a large black bear. As they got closer, the creature stood up and began making screeches similar to that of a large gorilla. Though the footage lasts no more than a minute, the quality of the video evidence shows the exact same location as the previous footage, and shows the creature standing at a towering 10 feet tall. Not only does this help prove the authenticity of the previous footage, but proves that the area in and around Provo Canyon appears to be a hotspot location for Bigfoot activity. The Yeti the Yeti is a creature that's been reported to live in the Himalayas for thousands of years. In pre-19th century, the Yeti was a part of the pre-Buddhist beliefs of several Himalayan people. In 1832, some local guides spotted a tall creature covered in long dark hair which seemed to flee after noticing them. An early record of footprints appeared in the Himalayas in 1899, but it was concluded that it belonged to a bear. The frequency of such reports increased in the 20th century, when Westerners started scaling the Himalayas. Although diverse wildlife was often reported, there were occasionally some reports of strange creatures that would tower above the average human. These giant creatures would also leave behind large footprints, some of which couldn't be linked to any animal in the region. Western interest in the Yeti peaked dramatically in the 1950s. This was when Eric Shipton and his team attempted to climb Mount Everest. Whilst here, Eric Shipton took photographs of a number of large footprints in the snow that he thought belonged to the Yeti. Some argue that these are the best evidence for the existence of the creature. In 2004, editor of the journal Nature mentioned the Yeti as an example of a legend deserving further study and writing. In 2007, American television presenter Joshua Gates and his team reported finding the footprints in the Everest region of Nepal. Some of the footprints measured 33 centimeters or 13 inches in length and having five toes that measured 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches. Later in 2009, after a lot of research was done on the footprint, a hair was found. Gates presented the hair sample to the public and told the people that the hair contained unknown DNA. So what do you make of these mysterious footprints? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.